Hello, Slaan Alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today this video is again on Hackintosh and today's topic is how to resolve all the problems related to NVIDIA graphics card. So this video is specially dedicated to the GTX 600, 700, 900 and 1000 series of cards. I don't know about the previous one, might work with 500 series as well. So the problem with the latest NVIDIA cards, the 900 and 780 Ti and 1000 series is that they are not natively supported by Apple. So you have to in install the CUDA drivers and the web drivers. Starting from the fully basic level, I will tell you how you can get the NVIDIA graphics card working on your OS X, uh, including all the versions, including the OS 10.13, 10.12, 10.11 and all of these. And there are basically a few different steps you need to do to get it working on OS X 10. OS 10, whatever you want to say. So the first step is you have to install CUDA drivers and NVIDIA driver managers before you plug in your NVIDIA graphics card into the PCI slot. And imagine you are on a system that does not have integrated Intel graphics. What you will do then? You have to install your NVIDIA graphics card onto your motherboard and then you have to use a boot flag. So I hope you people know what boot flag is. But for those who literally don't know what boot flag is, boot flag is a boot up parameter you give to OS 10 dot anything that before it loads the basic driver, what it have to do to run your graphics card. So the first step here, get your NVIDIA working without any driver, without anything else. You have to use this NV underscore disable is equals to one. So this is the magic boot flag you have to use to get your NVIDIA 900 or 1000 gra series graphic card start working. This is the first step, not the only step, but the first step. You have to use this NV underscore disable is equals to one. And then you have to do one more step, which is you have to uninstall the drivers. So you will be confused which driver do you have to install. So here in the Intel driver section, you have to remove this EMU variable UEFI dash 64 and you will be surprised that i'm teaching you this on clever configurator and what if you don't have a working os 10 already so i will explain that as well using the basic um, stuff but this is for those who at least have a bootable os 10 right now so first step is you have to click nv underscore disable is equals to one second step is you have to remove this driver EMU variable UE5-64. Third step is you have to go to system parameters and you have to take this NVIDIA web. Without this NVIDIA web, you can't boot drivers in Serra or High Serra. This is a must to do thing to load the NVIDIA graphics card drivers on 10.12 and 10.13. These are, these are the basic three steps. And then after that, if you go to kernel and Kexpe, if you go to graphics section, not kernel and Kexpe, and here, uh, remember, you don't have to inject NVIDIA. You don't have to inject NVIDIA. If you inject NVIDIA, I don't know why the GTX 900 series and 1000 series graphics card won't boot to screen. They will give you that black screen people are facing that we get a black screen after the boot up is complete so basically they are using nvidia inject nvidia or they are using nvidia no efi so you can use nvidia generic or nvidia single but these both can be problematic as well so i will prefer you not to use any of these uh check boxes and the fourth step is you have to use load vbios and if you have intel you can use inject intel so I've explained four main things to uh, avoid uh, the boot problem on NVIDIA. And one more problem there is, which is persistent, that people say that the boot up is all right, the system boots up, but after booting up, their EMU or their graphics card drivers are not working. In short, their graphics acceleration is not working. They are having glitches and a lot of different problems, uh, flickering, glitching and stuff. So to get that thing fixed, you have to use this install driver, which I asked you to remove previously. You have to use 
EMU variable UEFI-64. So this is a must to have driver to load your NVIDIA graphics acceleration. Without this, this won't work. But you have to remove this while you're installing the drivers and you are configuring your Hackintosh and you're updating or whatever you're doing. Whenever you're going to update or modify or anything you do, you have to remove this first. Otherwise, you will get problems such as there is no OSX.mpkg available, M package available, and lots of different problems. So once everything is finalized, every driver and everything is loaded up, you then have to use EMU variable U5.64 so your NVIDIA graphics drivers lowers up. So this is how you do this on a clever configurator. And now let's do this on the basic drive level or you can say on the EFI partition itself. So here, this is my EFI partition. I open this, I go to EFI Clever and EMU variable 64. You have to remove that driver from here. This is the variable I'm, I was talking about. EMU variable. So this is the driver, driver 64U5. You have to remove this. Uh, so for your ace, I will remove it at the moment. You have to remove this and then you have to open your config. So here the config will be different. So I will open the config using a text editor. So to explain you, and you can do this as well in Windows if you have a config.plst available there. And here you will open it and let's see if I can increase the size of the font. So after increasing the size, I hope this is quite understandable or readable. And now you have to search few things. So first thing you can just press command F and you can write NVIDIA web nvidia web and here right under the nvidia web you can see it's lesser than sign true and uh forward slash and then a greater than sign and the true is been between this and you have to change this from false to true and then you have a search inject and you will get three options inject intel ati intel and nvidia and here you can see inject nvidia is false you have to if it's true you have to change it to false and for the boot flag of nv underscore disable is equals to one you have to search for arguments a r g u m e n t s and you once once you get arguments right under the arguments right next to the strings here you can see there is one argument present which is kex slash dev slash mode is equals to one you can enter the other by just giving space. And here you have to write nv underscore disable is equals to one. So this is for disabling the NVIDIA drivers before you want to boot your boot into Hackintosh without drivers. So this is a must to do thing if you want to boot into the drivers with NVIDIA graphics card already installed into your motherboard. And after that, these are the four main things you have to do. And I have already told you how to remove your EFI drivers and once you are done with this you just have to, to save this file and I would say I want to revert you have to save the file and once your file is saved you can just plug into your USB and you can directly boot into your OS 10 and you can also do one more step one more step which is you can check that there is a fake SMC available into you the kext other section. So you have to go to kext folder, then other folder, and there you have to see that fake SMC is available. This is a must to do, must to have thing for your system to boot, for your Hackintosh to boot. It doesn't matter which motherboard, which CPU you're using, but fake SMC is the most important part of your Hackintosh bootability. So I hope this video clarifies most of the NVIDIA graphics problem. And if you still have any problem, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will try my best to reply you as fast as possible. 
and that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you really like the video then help me on patreon help me buy and try my best to get make the most efficient hackintosh and to teach you in the best manners and that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz